June reading. As you can see, there are three different piles in front of you. First, we have the Smoky Quartz Crystal. Then we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. And then we have the Clear Quartz Crystal. See which pile is drawing you in. Which pile calls to you? Take a few moments for yourself at this time and set the intention uh, that you would like to receive the messages that you need to hear today. So I'll give you a few moments now to see which one is calling you. Okay, I'm going to be starting with the smoky quartz today. So this is a reading for the smoky quartz crystal. There we go, you can see that lovely crystal there. All right, so very interesting for the month of June for you guys. So looking at the cards that I've got for you guys this month, the energy is very much up in the air. So I feel like with you guys, if you've probably sort of, you're knocking on a door and I can see a door here. And you guys, you're about to walk through the door, but something keeps holding you back. So it, you, I feel like you're stop, start, stop, start, especially when it comes to um, something with in regards to career and especially with relationships as well. I can almost feel the anxiety that you guys feel when you're, you're about to start something new and it's almost like the confidence isn't there to pursue what it is that you guys really want to do. So that's the energy surrounding the month of June at the moment for you guys. So let's have a look at what guidance that you really could use for this month so interesting that i've got here for the beginning of the month it's claim what is yours very interesting to see there so you can see that beautiful owl and the wings are really outstretched and you've got the key there at the bottom so this is about spreading the wings and thinking about what the possibilities are for you guys and when we see the owl, the owl is a beautiful sign of wisdom. So some people really believe that they don't have enough knowledge or they haven't got quite enough um, experience to go ahead and really do what they really want to do. So the owl is a sign of wisdom. You guys, you do have the knowledge that you need to progress to go forward with what you want to do. Now it's the time to have the confidence in yourself. So you can see there the key, the keys to the door. So it's really interesting here. So you guys, the door's right there. Most of you probably know which door I'm talking about. And it's one that seems really big and scary to, to actually go and open it up and see what's behind that door. So this is the month to really focus um, your energies on what you truly want. So if something seems a little bit scary, but you really, really want to do it, what is actually stopping you? Really ask yourself the question of what is actually stopping you? So particularly at the beginning of the month of June is distractions. I really feel like with this card here, we've got the seven of cups here. The energy here is surrounding distractions from what it is actually you're um, avoiding. So the Particularly here we've got, this option looks good. The person standing in front of a bunch of cups with all these different glorious looking options in front of this person. So it's like, oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do that. Oh, this looks good today. Oh, I'm gonna change my mind. Maybe tomorrow I'll do this. 
So you, here you are thinking, I could do all these different stuff and really you're avoiding what it is you actually want to do. And it's like, because it's too scary to actually walk through that door and it actually requires work as well. So sometimes we'll think, oh, I can't do it because oh, I'm, you know, I can't because I haven't got enough knowledge or I haven't got enough of this or enough of that. When in reality, what we actually want to do requires quite a lot of work and dedication and time and that confidence as well. But it's easy to just hide away. You can see this person is shattered because that person's hiding from what it is that is actually important. So that's really interesting there. So be honest with yourselves, guys. So this is the month of really thinking about that. Now, also here, we've got the Seven of Wands. You can see this woman here, and we've got all the ones at the bottom there. And so that is representative of people's opinions. And um, sometimes what happens is we get really, um, we get really influenced by other people's opinions about what we're going to do. And so you can see this woman here, she's actually looking quite calm and looking quite serene and she's not letting these opinions um, really uh, stop her from what she's actually doing. So she's actually just going, oh, I'm like, just going to go with the flow here. I really, yeah, okay, that's your opinion. That's fine. I'm just going to be able to, yeah, I'll take on board what I want to take on board, but I'm not going to completely and utterly change what I'm doing because of what you've said. So be really mindful of people's opinions this month. I feel like for some of you, you're really, really learning to have, like how to cope with this and how to deal with other people's viewpoints and things. Sometimes there's value in other people's opinions or viewpoints, but it's taking what resonates and leaving what doesn't. So that's important for the beginning of June. So now we're looking at the middle of June. So I see here, for some of you, there's a potential new start happening in the areas of either romance or work. So here we see it in the reversed position. So it's interesting to see this card in the reversed position because this signals delays, it single, signals things um, holding back new beginnings. And it really, it's something is holding this back. And I feel like this could be um, either yourself um, or it could be external factors. So we've got, especially at the moment with COVID happening, that there's a lot of potential new beginnings or new ventures especially in the areas of like holidays or going away um, that had to be held back so something in the middle of june is being held back sometimes this can mean um i, I don't know do i feel like this is more related to um like yourself like inside yourself like the anxiety the confidence and that and it's like you don't want to plummet yourself for a reason and there's a reason behind it where you just you you're almost there and I can see the door and I was talking about before you it's like you're just nearly ready just to leap through but something is holding you back and I feel like with some of you it's doubts it's like I can't do this I can't do that don't let your past hold you back so that's a really big message for the month of June the middle of June especially is don't let the past hold you back. So what is it that's happened in the past that's related to this new beginning that is holding you back from really moving forward? Now here, we've got the six of wands. So you can see this woman here and it's in the reverse position too. And this is a card about success, but we see it in the reverse position. So what is holding you back? Do you think you're not going to be successful and is that why you're, you're not going and leaping into what you truly want to do and is this relationship a potential relationship that you're having or could be having and you're not leaping into it because you're worried about what's happened in the past is going to happen again in this relationship so being really mindful and different um, seeing the difference between relationships from the past 
and what's happening now as well. So you, you aren't um, always a product of what's happened in your past. So that's a real big message for the middle of June here. So sometimes we're, we're really, we become imprisoned by our pasts and some, and this is what most of the time that prevents us from moving forward. Especially when we're getting that push from our spirit guides to actually go and do these things that, you know, seem really scary to do. Okay, so towards the end of June, I'm seeing, it's very interesting, the Ten of Wands here. This is in the reverse position too. So this is actually a really good card to see in the reverse position in this case for me. Because I'm seeing that you guys are going to start stripping back what is um, really bothering you. So you could be carrying the weights of responsibility um, at the moment and you, you just really, you just need the stress to really um, be lifted from the shoulders. You can see this person here, if I just turn this card around, then they're carrying the burdens and they can't even see what's in front of them. So really, when we go back to the Seven of Cups, this card here, we're being distracted by all the unnecessary things in our life. And um, I think it's still blurred. I'll try and get that card there. There we go. You can see that person distracted by all their options. And it could also be a reflection or, or um, a distraction of everything that's just going on in your life. And here, this person can't see um, because of all the stuff they're carrying in front of them. All every single day. So you think about your the jobs around the house, the washing, uh, the um, relationship issues, uh, work issues, family issues, and it all just becomes so, so much to carry. So, but here, when we see it in the reverse position, that really tells me that some of the weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders towards the end of June. And I feel like it's because some of you are starting to get rid of what is no longer needed to be constant, um, constant stress for you. So you're relieving the stress somehow. So when we do that, when we start to relieve the stress of our, our lives and we start bearing um, different areas, it allows the new to come in. So this will be an important thing for you guys this month is to start taking some weight off your shoulders. See the areas in your life you can start to do this for yourself. It's very, very important because what it's going to do is going to start, uh, uh, start opening up opportunities for you guys. So here we see the Nine of Pentacles. I love this card. So this card is in the reverse position, but I feel like when I see this, it's you guys are starting to recognize who you guys can be. So this is a very beautiful energy in this card. It's a very serene type of energy. And you can see that this woman is just carefree and she's enjoying her life. So this is really important for you guys. Start enjoying your life. What makes you smile? Think about how your work can be a little bit less stress for you. Do you need to think about leaving another job? Do you think about um, a relationship that could be just, it's no longer working for you? Do you need to work through some kind of relationship stuff? Is there money and financial things that can be eased up in your life? Maybe do a budget and think about how you can start um, easing up those financial burdens to become more like this woman. So this is where, where the Ten of Wands comes in and explains about lifting up some of the pressure so you can feel more relaxed and serene like the Nine of Pentacles. So that it would be really important here. Then when you start to relieve the pressure, you can really start to see where it is you need to go as well because you're not distracted by all the stuff that's going on like the seven of cups here distraction so really think about that this month now here we've got no place like home so that's very interesting there so some of you might really connect with this card as a message for you what is the importance of this card for you home and what does home mean to you Home for some people is family, that they think about their home and their family and that's where they most feel safe and they feel like, oh, that's where I'm meant to be. But the idea of home is different from everyone. So it's 
important to feel comfortable in your home and where you rest your head at night. So think about that and where you guys want to be in order to feel comfortable in your life and in order to be able to be relaxed enough to go, ah, oh, this is what I want to do. This is where I feel like I fit as well. So it's feeling like where you see yourself just fitting comfortably too. So that's an important message here too. Now I've got also here um, messages from spirit um, ca cards as well. So these are um, from people that have passed over and it's a really beautiful um, set of cards, whispers from above um, cards. So um, Melissa Mills um, had created these cards. They're really, really lovely actually. And um, so, uh, but I mean, I love all my cards of course. Um, so here I thought I would include in these readings is messages from your potential loved ones in spirit that could be sitting with me here today. So when you miss me, think of happy times as I want you to be happy. So that is the spirit message here for this reading today. So thinking about um, that and who could have passed over and how this could be relevant to you. So that is a really, really beautiful card for this reading too. So that's it for pile one, the smoky quartz reading. I hope this was relevant to you. Um, and I hope the messages um, resonated with you as well. So just bearing in mind, of course, this is a general reading um, and if that didn't resonate, that's completely okay. There might be another reading that you actually resonate with more. So thank you for listening and I will see you soon. So this is a reading for the Rose Quartz Crystal. There we go, you can see that there, the lovely rose quartz. So having a look at this, now it's interesting for this pile here, I feel like uh, that this is a month surrounding uh, issues in relation to choices as well, very much like pile one, but also I feel like this could be in relation to uh, control and especially in the areas of work and relationships as well. So when we think about what could be affecting us in our workplaces, so you may have a boss who's quite demanding, you might have someone who doesn't really listen as well, um, They sometimes they can be a little bit power hungry um, as well, so it can be really hard to be working for someone that is very uh, rigid um, in their uh, decision making as well. And um, one thing about this person that I will say though, is they make very clear cut sort of choices as well. So it's sort of like everyone's expected just to follow along with this person. Now this person could also be in your relationships as well. So when I'm talking about this type of person, uh, we have the emperor here. So the emperor is coming up very strong at the beginning of the month. Now we've got the Mars energy associated with this card, which is all about, um, it's all about that fiery energy. So a little bit um, dominating um, as well. So if you're in a relationship with this type of person, they're really having an effect um, on you this month. And this could be also a family member as well. So it could be a father figure um, as well. That could be quite controlling or even a friendship. So there, this is a major arcana card and I feel like this is important message for a lot of people that have chosen this card. So when we're in this type of situation of control, so when lo we're looking at this, I'm getting the 10 of wands in the reverse position too. So this is also telling me at the beginning um, of June, you're thinking about I really want to say leaving and you're wanting to leave the, the burden, you're wanting to leave and just escape as well. So when we see this here, you can see there's a, um, a donkey that's got all these bags packed and a, a person here, there's a long road behind this person too. So it's kind of like this journey of like, I need to sort of get away, but there's almost sort of just they don't want to be seen when they get away as well. So it's kind of like, oh, I'm going to go hide and take all my belongings in the middle of the night. I'm going to get away from this person. So when I see this here, it's kind of like I need to escape. 
we're in the reverse position though so when we see this here i feel like a lot of you are like i don't know how to do it i don't know how to relieve my burdens i feel like i'm really really stuck at the moment too so here we are thinking about how we're going to um, escape a situation that is really really controlling and really really dominating as well so here i feel like the message here is that we've got conclusions conclusions are within reach so we've got that moonology message there so it's kind of like at the moment i'm like oh i don't know what to do but i feel like when i see the ten of wands here it's important to really organize and plan how you're going to be able to relieve some of the burdens in your life how you're going to um, really really get into a place if you can on your own to just um, really think about even talking uh, with friends uh, could be really helpful as well but you need to clear your head somehow so getting out of the situation even for a short time if it's a work situation that someone you can confide in and talk to would be really really important so and it's also uh, it's interesting here um i feel like a lot of you have been really hard on yourselves with this situation as well it's kind of like you're really um being unkind to yourself with what the type of words you're saying to yourself as well so you're feeling a little bit trapped so here it's interesting, the key to forgiveness. We've got the key here um, and the swan. So forgive yourself. It's okay to be in a situation where you're, you feel like you've made a bunch of bad choices and you've gotten yourself into something, but you can see the key there. There's a key to get out. There is a key to get away and actually be happier in a different type of situation. So really think about that. So that's really, really important. So especially for the beginning of June. Now the middle of June here. So I feel like with some of you, it's like choices here and you're like, um, it's like, what do I do? I've got a couple of different options. Where am I going to go? We've got the two of pentacles here. So here, I feel like you guys have gotten yourself into a better situation to make make those choices though so it's kind of like your your head is a lot clearer now towards the middle of the month so you you're able to relieve some burdens um, that were happening for you in the beginning of the month so this is really good we've got conclusions here which is very relevant here uh, with uh within reach so i don't feel like your options here are going to be uh it's going to be a definite thing um at the middle of the month i don't think it's going to be like Oh, yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in that direction. I think you're going to be dancing around with a couple of different options because the energy isn't I'm not feeling quite clear to me yet for the middle of the month to make a choice in which direction. But what I'm feeling like is really research both options. So I feel like there's like a fork in the road and that you could go either way. So, And I feel like too, either way would be a good choice. So it doesn't feel like you're going to have, it, it doesn't feel like you're going to be making the wrong choice with whatever direction you go. It's really about listening to your heart here and what that's going to tell you to do. So here we've got the page of pentacles. Now I feel like this is a lot of you guys here in the reverse position and I think you guys are starting to ground your energy. Um, it's in the reverse because it's like, you're not, you're still feeling a little bit like, oh, I just don't know. And I, you, it's about grounding that energy and getting excited about the possibilities of what could happen for you too. So it's important to, if you've been in that a, a really stressful situation that you're sort of having to sort of take a break from, is to ground the energy to think about what you're going to do next sort of thing. I also feel like too financially, you guys need to start thinking about um, what it is you need to do with the finances as well. There's some kind of organizing that needs to happen there too. So that will be really important for you too. So really getting organized for the middle of June is very important. Now, interesting going to the end of June. Now, I think it's really interesting that you, I really feel like there's um, the, the start of the month where the energies were like, uh, I, I just, I feel trapped like that really trapped energy middle of the month. It's like, 
okay, you've gotten out of that um, energy of feeling trapped and you're starting to feel like there is choices, like your world is actually opening up for you. So that's really interesting to see for the middle of June. Towards the end of June, we're seeing, um, it's very interesting, all that glitters, this card coming up here. So when we see all, all that glitters, you can see that beautiful uh, golden, it kind of looks like the, yeah, the pot of gold, like it reminds me of Aladdin where, you know, it finds all the gold and everything glitters and it's just, you're not supposed to touch anything though when you go um, into this area where there's the rubies, the gemstones and stuff, you have to be really careful where you see the treasure. And here, all that glitters, it's, it's very much a card of warning. So be careful about what you do um, when you're making these choices about what's shiny and what looks good and what actually is and the kind of decisions you're making is, is it going to be uh, from a place of genuine authenticity? Uh, is it from a place of uh, it's for the highest good? So being very uh, careful when you think about making these choices, uh, is it because I'm doing it for the money as well? So this is a very much the card. This card is all about all that glitter. So all that shines, well, all that looks good. If it looks good and it looks too good to be true, that as well. This is very much a card of warning. So be very careful the choices you make towards the end of the month is it because for the, my highest good I'm making this choice or am I doing it out of desperation for a, that bit of extra cash? Uh, am I splurging some money at something to make something happen as well? So that's very important there. So here too we've got the five of swords and we also have the emperor. So I feel like here when I see this at the end of the month with the emperor in the reverse position. So we've gotten rid of that controlling situation at the beginning of the month. But at the end of the month, we see this at the reverse position. So this is actually a good thing because I feel like this controlling type of energy or that energy where you felt trapped is now it's become less of a problem, which is really, really good to see. So you're, you're gaining um, your own type of freedom back and you're feeling less influenced by this energy. So that's really, really good to see. And you're starting to take back your power, your sense of power, which is really important. So when we see, it's interesting with the emperor, red is very dominant in both these cards. That's because of that Mars energy. And that Mars energy is can be quite aggressive. So when we think about that red color too, and that red color is also um, the color of power. So that person is having power over you, but it's about taking back your personal power using that red type of color energy and you visualizing that you have that inside of yourself instead. So that is the energy of the month. I feel like it's all about taking back that personal power in pile two in particular. Now, when we see the five of swords here, so that's in the reverse position. The five of swords is all about win, lose, win, lose. That's very important about this card. There's a winner and there's a loser. So here, it's very interesting to think about who is the winner here for you or who's the loser here for you? Do you feel like you're lost um, out of that situation that you were in or do you feel like you've come out the winner? Now, it's interesting here because there's someone that is hurt or there's a few people that are hurt in this case, in this scenario. So thinking about here who could be hurt along the way about um, the choices you make going forward as well. So is it, um, are you making these choices because you want to feel like you're um, gaining um, uh, control um, in, in a way that's not really healthy though? So it's, it's really thinking about making good choices but also bearing in mind other people's feelings as well. So that's an important card here about who is going to be hurt because one person wants to feel better about themselves as well. 
you could be the person being hurt in this situation. So especially in regards to what I've been talking about with the emperor here. So it's about gaining back your, your sense of power, I guess, but not um, grasping at it and just hurting others. Because sometimes when we've been hurt, we want to take our power back, right? So we want to take our power back, when we, but then we're like, now I feel great, now I can just do whatever I like, but then people are getting hurt along the way because it's like, oh wow, what's happened here? So it's all about having that healthy ego and being um, empathic of others as well. So it's just getting that balance again. So it can be really hard when you've been in a controlling situation um, about fighting to get that sort of sense of um, self-confidence back and then we trip over to ego. So it's just balance when we think about that. Now, um, whispers from above cards. So this is messages from uh, people that have passed in spirit. So this is a really beautiful cards here. So the message for pile two, which is the rose quartz pile, is this. Storms are followed by rainbows. Whatever your life challenges are, know that I'm with you. So whoever um, chose this pile today, we've got a beautiful message here about storms being followed by rainbows. So what, like the challenges that we go through in our lives and um, thinking about what beautiful things can come out of um, something that is very, very challenging. And that knowing that um, spirit is there with you as well and helping you along the way. So that's very beautiful to see there. So that comes to the end of the Rose Quartz reading. Thank you so much for listening. I hope um, this was relevant for some of you. I know some of the information was quite specific here, um, but take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So that's really important there. So thank you so much again for listening and I'll talk to you soon. So this is a reading for that clear quartz crystal. You can see that right there. Clear quartz. Okay, so looking for at this month, so it's really interesting. I'm seeing uh, changes for you guys. So it's kind of like you're ending uh, a journey and you're starting a new one. So that's really interesting to see there. So we have for the middle of the month, which is a major arcana card that I think is really important to point out, uh, which is death and rebirth. So this is a lovely card here. So you can see that this is, uh, it's, it, it's interesting because I feel like this is death, but you can see here how it's a very endless looking card. So you can see here with the trees, you can see the night sky, you can see the light, and you can see the colors here. And it kind of looks like that this, this being is not on earth, but is in the midst of a realm of change. You can see the colors in this card and it's kind of like ending and beginning. So death is a, you know, we see death coming in on the horse and it's kind of like here they come and it's um, very inevitable that death happens. So when we think about it, it's the inevitable, but with death comes new beginnings as well because we die and we don't know what happens to us when we die, but we think possibly there is a new beginning. So this is very significant for the middle of the month is the journey here. So one journey ending and another beginning for you guys. So at the beginning of the month, We've got the Hierophant here. So this card here is in the reverse position. The Hierophant represents spiritual teachings. Um, it represents the group as well. It represents learning new things. So here it's interesting when we see it in the reverse position because uh, there's some kind of delay or block here in regards to um, spirituality, learning new things, schools, teaching, and also the group. So you might be part of the group, uh, a group outside of work, and it's kind of like you've had um, a lot of issues surrounding these types of areas. Could also mean that you guys are 
feeling like I just, I'm in a bit of a rut as well. I want to start something, but um, I, I want to go and learn something, but I feel like I'm held back and I'm feeling disconnected um, at the moment as well. So it's interesting with the eclipses too, people's energies are feeling a little bit all over the place, and especially in regards to um, with COVID as well and how it's affected us spiritually. So it's caused us to question our lives and what's going on with our lives as well. So we think about that and how we're, how we're going to move forward in our lives and where, what do we want to do? Where do we want to put our energies? So this is very much the Hierophant and the beginning of June for you guys. You're questioning a lot of stuff for yourself at the moment. So here we have the treasure of embodiment. So you can see a woman on this card here and she's got a bird on her finger and there's the leaves sort of just floating about her as well and it's the winds of change and we've got nature there with the animal as well. So when we're thinking about nature and what it's like to be in nature, we feel a sense of um, relaxation, especially when there's a breeze in the air as well and we can just you know, take that sigh of relief as well so it's important for you guys I feel like the with the um, beginning of June is to get out into nature and just go and have a picnic relax in some fresh air and even just taking the animals out for a walk as well can make you feel a little bit more relaxed about your choices that you have to make and what you want to do as well so that's important for the beginning of June is to take that step out into nature, walking bare feet on, out in the grass as well, just to ground the energy um, as well. So here we've got the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles, these cards are very connected. So the Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. The Hierophant is about giving and receiving as well because there's a teacher and there's the student so we've got here the blockage here happening between giving and receiving. So there's something happening in the realms of um, there's that unbalance happening there for you guys. Um, especially where uh, finances with the Six of Pentacles too are included as well. So, But I really, I really feel like something's going to come through in the way of a handout. So like where, whether um, you're feeling at the moment, oh, I, can't, I don't have enough money to go off and do study. I don't have enough of this to go off and do that. So I, I kind of feel like here, yeah, the beginning of June, there's going to be some kind of um, relief for you guys. So it will relieve some stress. So you can go off and go, oh, I have enough money to go and do that thing now. So that's interesting for the beginning of June. I feel like there's a helping hand coming along the way for you guys. So that's interesting to see. Now for the middle of June, we've got the Four of Cups in the reverse position. So the Four of Cups is all about stagnation. So we see that that person here, if I, I reverse that around, the person is just sitting with their arms crossed, the cups in front of them, they can't see it. The Three of Cups, you can see that at the front, here as well so but that person can't see um, the positive three points of cups there in front of them and they can't see what's being handed to them either in fact they're just so um, wrapped up in themselves that they can't see what is in in front of them when we see this in the reverse position so interesting for this particular reading I feel like there's a real resistance with some of you guys to really see what's in front of you. So it's kind of like here when we think about the Six of Pentacles and helping hand. There's a helping hand. But are you guys seeing the helping hand? So that's really interesting. So you may have help readily available and it might be in an area you're just not looking at. So really think about what could help you move forward. Are you just happy sitting there just going, yep, I'm happy not to move forward. I don't really care about anything at the moment. I'm just happy just to feel safe. I could just be watching Netflix and chilling out and I just, oh, it's not even worth going and just getting up and doing anything else. Oh, I'm too tired, I'm too demotivated. 
as well. So this is very much the energy of the Four of Cups is I don't feel like doing anything. So this is the month to get some fire underneath you guys and some energy, some ha something happening to make you get off, up, off, up off the couch, I want to say, and get you guys moving because I think it's really important getting out in that fresh air as well, especially with the treasure embodiment. Fresh air is going to be really helpful for you guys this month because it could be that you're just going to feel a bit stuck about what you want to do. So really get out, move your body, just, just get the energy flowing. That's what I really want to say. So if you do that, so if you're willing to accept help, because sometimes our egos get in the way of accepting help. So that's going to be really important for you this month is to really see where you, you know, sometimes we just can't do it on our own. We need help. That's why there's people about, um, like we have different types of friends or family or someone that is going to help us when we most need it. So ask. Now that to confirm that, a leg up. <laughs> I did, just got that card right then. A leg up, you guys are needing a leg up for this month. So really, that uh, that's really reinforces the message here is it, we just do. We sometimes we need a helping hand. So it's really beautiful here because when I see the bears here, you can see the little bear and the, the older bear there. And it's like someone that's really stable around you. I feel like it's like a nice big sturdy bear that can give you a nice big bear hug. Um, when you need it is around so utilize them your friends your family people around that love you they want to help really see like recognize that so especially because I feel like the middle of June is going to be such a transitional time for you guys that death and rebirth that major arcana card is about that transformation so you guys are going to be going through a lot of changes you might be questioning what's happening in your life like work relationships everything everything's up in the air and you're just like things are changing so really really like the energy is there for the change and it's it's important to be able to accept change accept help accept the change go with the flow because then the energy is right for that and then you, you will be able to transition a lot more comfortably to the new changes that, that happen around you if you're accepting of help um, throughout these changes too. So um, if you're, you're questioning a lot, like I really feel like some of you want to go out and study, you want to be out in new careers, you just want to be who you are. Uh, it, the energy for June is really right for that. So be kind to yourselves during this time. Okay, so now uh, moving on, we've got towards the end of the month here. So we, we're talking about the start of the month where the Hierophant's in and um, there's that uh, interesting energy around giving and receiving and teaching and then there's the blockage there. So and getting out there and just getting into nature and then we've got for the middle of June, the Four of Cups, and it's kind of like, oh, I feel stuck, and I feel like, oh, I just, you know, the change is really, really hard, but changes are happening anyway in regards to, like, we can't just stay in one position, right? So with the Four of Cups, it's all about staying in one position, but life goes on, and it's like, and you, you probably know that you can't stay in that one position. It's scary to move, but that change really, really needs to happen. So that's really important. Now, towards the end of the month, we've got the page of cups and the wheel. The wheel being another major arcana card for you guys. The major arcana card of destiny. So this is the card of, it really is all about going on the journey you're meant to be on. The destiny wheel is spinning in your favor and there's opportunities for you to be going to where you're meant to be. So that is really important here. So this is, are you going to ride along um, on this wheel of change? Are you willing to get off the couch? Because that's what that, that card's all about. Are you willing to accept and step up and go, I'm ready to do this? Because we've got that blockage there, that, that sense of resistance of, 
seeking help in that but we need help to get us on the journey of where we need to go so we we have people there that have information mentors making those phone calls of like oh i need to find out information on this course or that course and it's all about getting out there and being active about your changes and making those moves yourself and not sitting there expecting it to be handed to you on a platter so that's what the wheel is all about it's ready to step up and accept the changes that you're meant to be on because you're going to feel so much better when you do you're like you're going to be in your authentic self you're going to feel like oh, i finally fit this is where i'm meant to be why was i so scared before page of cups the bringer of opportunity this is all in relationships so sometimes when we take the right step in our work our career then the right person comes in for the relationship because you're in the place that you're meant to be then the person walks in the door that is meant to be in your life so i really see that towards the end of the month some of you could be um, having relationships and also this is a um, card of bringer of opportunity in the areas that you love this is card of love so it could be in work too so you could be having that opportunity to be doing the work you actually love towards the end of june so that's very beautiful to see there mending mending the hurts so you guys you know it could be that um we're carrying some of the wounds of our past here and that it's interesting here that comes up for this month because you're going to be working on some old healing throughout the month of june so be accepting of it that there's old wounds we all carry them and that is what is going to be prevalent through this month but when we heal our own old wounds and we're honest with ourselves new opportunities come in because we're working on ourselves so that's very important there now this is from above cards this is beautiful messages from spirit from the other side so i'll read this out I love being able to spend time with new souls that will join you on earth. So this is a card talking about our soulmates and that's not um, always in regards to relationships but with the people that we have around us that they're there, they're helping us and guiding us on our journeys and that they're here for our soul reason as well. We're all connected somehow. So that's a beautiful card there. So yeah, I'll let you read that for a second soul journeys okay so that's it for the clear courts reading thank you so much for listening and taking that time with me today i hope you this reading resonated for you um if it hasn't that's that's completely fine because it's not going to resonate for everyone so it's a very general reading thank you so much once again for listening and i will see you soon